But it's very nice to win because somebody gives you a medal and you stand on the top and even if you don't like to actually come out and say it, you did beat the others. And that's never bad. I mean, nobody really minds that too much. Um, but performing every night and in a show is different again because the, the people are there for an entirely different reason. And um, uh, one knows whether one's in fact won that night or not, really. I mean... <laughs> I think winning's so silly because um, I did all that Olympic business specifically to get the chance to do this. Since winning a gold medal in the 1976 Olympics and the World Figure Skating Championships later the same year, John Curry has gone on to become a serious and successful interpretive artist. Combining his impressive technical ability as an ice skater with his love of dance, he created a theater of skating which played a successful season in London. John Curry now lives in New York and is rehearsing with noted choreographers here in Westchester for the first American tour of his newly formed company. I came from a very middle class family in the middle of England at a time when dancing was still considered elitist and rather precious and refined and, and not really the sort of thing that a, um, a factory owner's son would do. However, when I discovered ice skating, I, I was enchanted by it because, you see, it, it embodied to me many of the qualities that, uh, that the, all the ballets and the, the musicals and the, and the films I'd seen, they were acting and they were singing and dancing and, and it was very colorful. And I was, I'm seven at this time, so the whole thing impressed me enormously. And uh, I fell in love with it. It's really true that at that time, I actually remember making a decision to say, that is what I want to do, and uh, I think that my great luck in life, above all things, is having known from that very early age that there was something that I actually loved to do, that I was, thank goodness, fortunate enough to be able to do, and also had a, a slight talent to do. With this slight talent, John Curry collected many prizes as a child, and as an adult, went on to win all the major figure skating awards. But the love of dance remained with him, and at 18, he started taking ballet classes, which added a new dimension to his skating. Each morning, Curry begins rehearsal for the company with a ballet-oriented warm-up. As well as emphasizing style and line, these exercises help the skaters overcome the usual muscle development problems caused by constant exposure to the cold of ice rinks so that when the skaters start their more usual ice warm-up, they are able to skate with the control and discipline of dancers. So what I've tried to do is devise a, a warming up, a series of exercises which have a much closer relationship to free skating than to school figures, and also to incorporate it with the balletic corps de bras, um, so that the one realizes that if a leg is in a certain position, the arm should correspond in some way to it. What we can't do, that dancers can do, is basically one thing. One cannot fully flex the foot in a skating boot because they're simply too strong. Because uh, when we jump, we have to have little support. Um, and that is basically our one area of weakness. The thing that we have above dancers is, of course, speed, the turns. I mean, we can turn forever, basically. And now I have to say that the thing that has, I think separates skating from dancing, or has done, is the fact that, that no one has ever really defined and, um, if you like, boxed in the movements of skating. They, they're all too general. Okay. Curry's upcoming tour will feature new works by many well-known choreographers, including John Butler, Twyla Tharp, and Peter Martins, in addition to works by Curry himself. 
Here he's developing a piece to Saint-Saëns Carnival of the Animals. And just push it very gently back like that. And very nothing in the arms. Okay? Now step this way. And this way. Put arm over the top. And through. Now go right down. Now go down. Probably the single most encouraging thing about what I've done is the reaction of the choreographers because mostly they're absolutely delighted, they can't wait to start, they want to do it. They're tremendous, they always say the same thing, why hasn't it been done before? Why, why has no one done this before? And to be absolutely honest, I can't say why. Of course they always have this initial thing of I'd love to learn to skate. <laughs> but that passes quickly. <laughs> One, two, three. Three, that's right. One, two, three. One of the choreographers invited to set a dance on ice is Peter Martins, principal dancer with the New York City Ballet. The music he has chosen is a tango by Stravinsky. In this rehearsal, Martins and Curry are setting steps to the music for the first time. One, two, three. Now, is it possible to go one? Yeah. One, two, three. So. Yeah. What, what happens when you do this? If you're traveling. Right. That's it. Neat. So, so we just need the beginning. Just the beginning to stay, and then we start moving. Just a little bit. Okay. And then now, uh, last right, right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we were here, you know? Yeah. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Well, no. What brought me to John's attention as a uh, as a possible uh, co-worker with him was uh, his wonderful skating. He approaches it as as it is an art form as opposed to uh, a sport. He is a dancer uh, just as well as a skater, and uh, most other skaters don't look like dancers when they skate. They don't have lines. There's no positions. There's no. Uh, placement of, 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 of the body, and John has all of those things. That's it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Does that hurt you? Does that matter? We don't use our feet that much. It's nice. No, it's nice. It makes Wait. It's, it's just for a second. It's probably just... No, it's lovely. Because what you're doing is... It, it, it won't. No, I know, but it's so nice to see people. No, it's lovely to see people do things like going to the skate. No one ever does you? that. Maybe you can, instead of doing this, you can do one, two. Is that better? Well, it depends if you want that. Ah, neat. So you should go, maybe not as far out, because no. that's hard. One, two, three. But that's hard to go there, isn't it? No, that's easy. That's the easiest part. Okay. Okay, maybe a little before, so we know. I like the Stravinsky Tango, because it's a very unusual little piece. It's short, and also it's... It's very suitable to this type of program, I feel, because there's so much of the uh, lyrical dancing in an ice skating show, floating around. So I chose to do something where he feels less at home, but that will bring out something different in him, hopefully. <laughs> 